So I go away for a couple of days, and when I come back, I find out that Colt Cabana is suing CM Punk. Colt Cabana is suing CM Punk. Let me repeat that one more time. Colt Cabana is suing CM Punk. <laughs> what a weird, wonderful, wacky world of wrestling we live in, huh? Long time best buds, pals, homeboys, ride or die bros, coming off of the heels of their victory, great success. I guess the WWE and their doctor, Chris, whatever the man, whatever the hell, in that defamation lawsuit. Now Colt Cabana has filed suit against CM Punk because he's of the belief that CM Punk agreed to cover all the legal fees and CM Punk's not having it. Now this is not just chump change. This is the tune, I believe, of over a quarter million dollars. That's what we're talking about here. A quarter million dollars. Just always remember, people, friendships, relationships, loyalties die more often than not due to, from a guy's standpoint, pussy or money and or a combination of the two of them. We can eliminate pussy here, so it comes straight down to nut-cutting money. And Colt Cabana believes that CM Punk has wronged him here. Now, who the hell knows if CM Punk did initially via text say he was going to cover everything or say you're good, only to think about it and be like, damn, that's a lot of money. I don't know if I want to cover your $250,000. Or if Colt Cabana is realizing that he doesn't quite live the lifestyle that he might like to pretend that he does, and that $250,000 is a shit ton of money. I don't know. And frankly, I don't care. It just seems crazy that these dudes that have been buds for so long, are at this point in time now. What the hell has happened? My first question to the two of them, did you really need to spend a half million dollars plus on damn attorneys here? Maybe you could have shopped around and got a more competitive rate. I'm just saying, why did you feel like you had to spend that much on damn attorneys? You literally paid an entire year's salary. Christ almighty, what the hell's going on here? Number two, you didn't think to file countersuit against the WWE's doctor? You didn't think of that? You didn't think maybe that if you win, they should have to cover your court cost, your attorney cost? Like, who the fuck goes into this type of situation and doesn't think that out? I'll tell you who. Idiotic fucking wrestlers like Colt Cabana and CM Punk, that's who. Waste a half million dollars over a million dollar damn lawsuit or whatever the hell it was. So you spent half the amount of the total lawsuit, I believe it was, to sit there and win, and now you're pissing him on the back and forth about who's going to flip the bill. Frankly, from CM Punk's standpoint... I can say on the one hand, he should have more money, he should be able to take care of it, but nah, fuck that shit. Cole Caban is a grown-ass man, he should be able to step up to the plate, and if he can't, then he should have been on his damn own. Why the hell would I want to sit there and cover his 250000 plus in attorney's fees? And then question three from Colt Cabana. It seems like sour grapes or something or a money-making opportunity why are you trying to sue for that plus a million plus in punitive damages? The hell has been so punitive to you about this? You won your case. It's one thing if you want to sit there and feel like you've got evidence to suggest that Punk agreed to cover all of the legal fees, whether or not he did or not. Entirely different situation, especially if you split off from his legal team and found your own representation. But now you want to sit there and you want to get even more money. Why? Driving around in your crappy car to your crappy shows isn't paying the bills anymore, culty? Pathetic. The real truth is, 
This just makes me laugh. Because they're both jerks. Sure, some of you probably have had interactions with them that have been pretty good. Frankly, the interactions I've had in the past with Colt Cabana were pretty good, too. That doesn't mean he's not an asshole or a jerk. He is. CM Punk is. I don't think anybody denies that. It's one of those more endearing qualities to some of you. But the truth is, is these two a-holes deserve this, and they deserve each other. And morbidly, I know I'm not the only one that sits there and gets a great kick out of seeing these two great former pals, former buddies, sitting there and bitching and moaning and trying to sue to pants off of each other. This is a valuable life lesson to all of us. Now, you think you got friends, you think you got loved ones, you think you got family. In the grand scheme of things, when money's at stake, you find out what you really don't have. And what Colt Cabana and CM Punk have ultimately found out is that their friendship was not nearly as tight, nearly as good as they ever believed it to be. And if anything, you could take a valuable life lesson from all of this and incorporate it into your lives. If you do happen to find somebody that is really, truly ride or die, then you keep them no matter what. But I promise you, if you think you've got all these friends and family that are truly ride or die, live or die for you, and you can count them on more than one hand, your outlook on life is significantly flawed, you are naive, and or a moron! Not quite the level of moron like CM Punk and Colt Cabana for not countersuing to make sure their attorney fees were covered. Not the level of moron of these two of spending a half million dollars to try and battle a one million dollar lawsuit. But hey, who am I to judge? Well, I did any fucking ways. Screw the both of them. Screw Punk for being a cheap bastard here, being a jerk and an ass. And screw Colt Cabana for being a cheap bastard, a jerk and an ass. They deserve each other and they deserve this. Screw them both.